And now your weather with meteorologist Gino Recchia. About half of the viewing area didn't see any snowfall. The other half woke up with a little bit of snowfall and it really started to total up in Door County and Sister Bay over a half foot of that white stuff in Ellison Bay 4.5 inches. We get down to Anago two and a half inches, Tigerton two inches, Jackson Port uh, 1.3 inches. It's a thin band of snow, but certainly setting up in between some cold air to the north and very warm air down to our south where temperatures are running over 20 degrees above normal for this time of year. In Green Bay, it was just a cloudy day, even a little piece of some sunshine, but it was just to our north, about 20, 30 miles or so, that you're going to start to see all that snow coming down here and is associated from this area of low pressure that has a stationary boundary, a warm front that's not really moving much, and just north of that warm front is acting as a lifting mechanism to spark off this band of snowfall. The snow was more impressive earlier in the day, but now it's starting to weaken, and it's going to continue to head into that direction for the next course of the few hours. By the time we get to about 7, 8 o'clock or so, most of the snow will pretty much be coming to an end, with the exception of maybe a few snow showers, but those winter weather advisories are likely to expire around that time. The heaviest of the snow right now from Shano County into southern Nakanto and into Door County, and this is going to be stagnant right across this area for probably I say in next one to three hours or so. But eventual trend is to it move slowly down to the southeast as we head into uh, really the next couple of hours. Visibility is between three quarters of a mile to a mile and a quarter. That's indicating how heavy the snow is coming down. When you're getting down under a half mile to a quarter of a mile, it's real heavy snow. So right now what we're seeing here is moderate to light snow ongoing across those areas. As we head to six o'clock, that band's still showing up. But then as you get to about 730, you see how much it fizzles out. We'll just be dealing with some flurries and light snow showers by that time. And for a few areas across the Fox Valley, you might see a few flurries or stray snow showers as you head into tonight. But by tomorrow, all of this is going to be well out of our area. And then behind it, temperatures are going to start to warm back up. We'll get into the mid and upper 40s for most locations south of Highway 29 northward. Because you got the snowpack, you're going to be in the mid 30s. But then look what happens as we head into on Wednesday. Temperatures soaring into the upper 50s and low 60s. This would be the first time we see 60s across uh, most of the Fox Valley this year. The last time we had that was back in December. And we could think well above average temperatures to continue as we head towards the second half of March. So it looks like spring weather is going to be returning here. 36 outside feels like 28 with a northeast wind at 12 miles per hour. We've got our sunrise getting very close to 7 o'clock this evening. 33 in Mountain, 32 in Menominee, 32 in Surgeon Bay, but farther south where the snow is not falling. It is 41 in Fond du Lac and 37 in Oshkosh, 34 or 36 in Manitowoc. Winds coming in off the lake at about 5 to 15 miles per hour. So a little breezy, but where it's snowing right now, not much of a wind, so not dealing with much of that blowing and drifting snow. 27 overnight low as the snow comes to an end. Northeast winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then as we head into tomorrow, we'll get up to 47 with very light variable winds around 5 miles per hour. Looks like they'll start out of the east and then turn out of the west and southwest as we anticipate that big warm up in store heading into Wednesday. High of 62, 52 on Thursday, 43 on Friday, and then we'll get back up into the mid and upper 50s Sunday and Monday. Let's look at your forecast. We'll be right back.